So what's up guys, it's JK and in this video we're going to be looking at all 23 transfers that have gone through in the deadline day regarding the Premier League. So if you're excited to watch this video, drop a like and subscribe for more content regarding FIFA 19. So let's get right on with the transfers. And the first transfer is a departure from the Premier League. All the rest of the transfers is uh, arrivals to the Premier League. As Thibaut Courtois moved from Chelsea to Real Madrid for a fee of just 35 million euros. Chelsea failed to tie down Courtois to a long-term deal and Real Madrid capitalized on this opportunity as they look to improve their goalkeeping choice. So Thibaut Courtois I think is a definite upgrade over Keanu Navas and in terms of ultimate team I'm thinking uh, Courtois will either get 88 rated card or 89 rated card and sadly there's not going to be an upgrade for Courtois this year. So Kepa Arzabalaga is the player who's going to be replacing uh, Thibaut Courtois at Chelsea as Chelsea splashed the cash for his services and the fee was around 80 million euros uh, which is played to Atletico Bilbao and he's a very promising young goalkeeper from Spain and he's got a huge potential as well. So in terms of ultimate team, he currently has an 81 rated card. I predict him to get an 82 or 83 rated card because that's a walkout in FIFA. So Matija Kovacic has now joined Chelsea on loan from Real Madrid this campaign. Kind of to speed in the deal for Chelsea to let uh, Debo Kotwa go for such a low price. Kovacic was never really a first team choice at Real Madrid. But for playing as Chelsea, he could get a lot of first team action. So it could be a very good year for the Croatian midfielder. And moving into Everton, they have pretty much smashed the transfer window in the deadline day and some solid addition to the team. And the first player is Mina from Barcelona. He arrived at Barcelona in the last winter transfer window and after being uh, 6 or 7 months as a Barcelona player, they've let him go. For a massive transfer fee of 30 million, remember they just bought him for just about 12 million so made a huge profit on him thanks to Mina's wonderful performances at the World Cup, scoring 3 goals in 3 games and he is a great addition to the Everton defense so he'll be really good to watch this campaign and in terms of ultimate team, he didn't have a lot of playing time last campaign so I've just given him an 81 rated card. And Everton have also got Andre Gomez from Barcelona, this time only out on loan. Gomez never really shined at Barcelona with the likes of Iniesta, Rakitic and Messi being in uh, their midfield section. It's really hard for Gomez to break through but I think Everton would be the right place for him to show his worth. Everton have also acquired the services of Bernard from Shakhtar Donetsk on a free transfer of course. Uh, the Ukrainian side let him go on a free and Everton have capitalized on that. Bernard is a highly skillful player who can play on the left, on the right and even in the middle so it'd be interesting to watch the little Brazilian do his magic in the Premier League. So moving on, we got Jefferson Lerma who was signed from Levante to uh, Bournemouth for a massive fee of just under 30 million euros. Lerma is another player who had a very good World Cup playing for Colombia and could be a perfect addition for the Bournemouth team as their midfield lacks a commanding figure and Lerma could be just the player they needed. And moving on once again, I've got one of my favorite clubs in the transfer window so far, that is Wolves. As they move away from the Portuguese sensation they have in their squad, to focus on other nations as well, so it's really interesting to see. They are, they've signed Dendonka, a Belgian from the Andalag. He's a very promising star for the future as well. So he'll be currently on loan this campaign, but they've already paid a transfer fee. And from next season, he'll be a permanent Wolves player. In terms of ultimate team, he has been playing mostly as a centre back from the last campaign. So I think uh, there will be a position change for him in FIFA 19. And Wolves have also signed a young, sensational Spanish player. By, who goes by the name of Adama Traore from Middlesbrough. He was one of the best players in the championship last campaign, completing more dribbles than any player in the league. And moving into the Premier League could be really interesting to watch. This guy has got the pace, he's got the dribbling aspect, he's got the skills with him, he's got the, even the physical aspects. But the only thing he lacks is the finishing aspect, so it would be an interesting season to watch him. And for ultimate team users, his card is going to be really sweaty to use. He was uh, with pace, with skill, he's got the 5 star skills in, in game as well. And he's got great physical strength as well. So it's going to be a great cheap all about card next year. And moving into another club who had a fantastic deadline day. They signed 4 players in the deadline day is Fulham. And the first player they signed is Anguisa from the Liga. He used to play for Marseille, pretty much don't know about him until this point. But he seemed to have a fantastic season last campaign. Uh, starting on 56 appearances is a massive task for any player. So uh, in terms of ultimate team, it's time for him to get into a goal card. And Fulham also signed Sergio Rico, a young Spanish centre-back who used to be playing for Sevilla. And they got him on loan this campaign and he'll be a really good a solid addition 
for Fulham in goal. And Fulham also signed Tim Fosu Mensa on loan from Manchester United. He was on loan at Crystal Palace last campaign. He had a very decent season and he's on loan at Fulham this season. And I think he'll get a goal card in FIFA 19 as well. And Fulham also signed Luciana Vieta out on loan from Atletico Madrid with a former Griezmann in the World Cup and stuff, he's never going to get break into the first team of Atletico Madrid. So Vieto would be looking to impress Atletico Madrid being on loan at the Premier League. And his partnership with uh, Mitrovic, who's Fulham Fulham, would be uh, really interesting to watch. So the final transfer by Fulham in this transfer window is Joey Bryan from Bristol City. After having a fantastic season in the championship last campaign, and the England fullback will be hoping to have a good season with the Fulham as well. 7 goals and 2 assists in 48 appearances and earning himself a team of the season card as well. I think it's time for him to get a really impressive looking goal card next year. And Leicester City have signed a couple of centre-backs and the first guy is Soyunku. After being linked with Arsenal so close and Arsenal really didn't go for this deal. He's a young uh, Turkish centre-back with a lot of potential as well and for 20 million I got to say it's one of the bargain. He had a really good couple of seasons in the Bundesliga and he's now in the Premier League and he'll be a very good uh, player to watch. And Leicester City have also signed Filip Benkovic who is currently not in FIFA this year as he plays in the Croatian League I think so and they've signed him for a transfer fee of 15 million and uh, in terms of his stats on best he, he should be somewhere around the high rated silver or a low rated gold in FIFA 19. And West Ham have also added some quality players in the deadline day. Signing Lucas Perez from Arsenal for just under 5 million euros is a massive bargain. Perez is an experienced first team player and has never really broken into the Arsenal striking department. With the likes of Obama and like I said, there's no chance for Perez to be the first team striker. So moving into uh, West Ham is a right choice for him. But for Arsenal, giving him away to a rival for uh, uh, for a cheap price is going to be a big mistake. And West Ham have also got Carlos Sanchez, not flashy signing anything but he adds experience and defensive capabilities to the West Ham team. So Danny Ings finally departs Liverpool to play for Southampton on loan this campaign but he will be a permanent uh, Saints player from the next season as a deal of 20 million was being paid by Saints to the Liverpool side and he never really did shine at Liverpool, a lot of injuries for him and it's going to be a make of season for him at Southampton. And moving into the back end of the transfers, we got Martin Montoya, a former Barcelona reject. After a couple of good seasons with Valencia, he decided to move to the Premier League to play for Brighton. So Fabricio Fernandes, after being relegated with Swansea City, he's now back in the Premier League to play for Newcastle United for a fee of uh, just a 7 million. So Burnley have signed Czech Republic striker from Derby County last campaign. He had a fantastic season for them, 22 goals and earning himself a team of the season card in FIFA should be enough to get himself a goal card in FIFA 19. And the final player of this deadline video guys is Isaac Benzer, who has joined Adelsfield Town on loan from Montpellier in the gun. And he got 10 goals and 2 assists, mostly playing as a substitute in the last campaign and he'll be looking to impress in the Premier League. And that is a wrap of all the transfers that have gone through in the deadline day guys. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like and subscribe for more content. Until then, I'll see you later.